Hi, I'm Ms. Pozak and I'm teaching reading. This week we are learning to identify the main topic and key details of a nonfiction book. Remember, nonfiction means that it's real and true. You're going to learn facts about the subject. Yesterday we learned how to identify the main topic of a book, which is what repeats and what the book is mostly about. Today we're going to talk about key details. Let's read this book, Katherine Johnson, by Thea Feldman and illustrated by Alyssa Peterson. I know that this is a nonfiction book and it's going to tell me facts. The main topic of this book is Katherine Johnson. While I'm reading, I want you to think about what are some important things that you can learn about her. What are the key details of this book? Let's get started. Chapter 1, A Family to Count On. On August 26, 1918, Katherine Johnson was born in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. She was the youngest of four children. Her father owned a farm and her mother had been a teacher. Ever since she could remember, Katherine was interested in learning about almost anything. She couldn't wait to be old enough to start elementary school. Before then, she followed her siblings to school and she tried to go in with them. Most of all, Katherine loved math. She counted family members, dishes, the number of steps from home to school, and so much more. Everything is math, Catherine said. Catherine, got, Catherine believed she got her gift of numbers from her father. Even though her father had only completed sixth grade, Catherine said that he was the smartest man she ever knew. He could look at a tree and know how many boards of wood he could get out of it, she said. He could solve any math problem too. Before she turned six, Catherine finally started school. Because she, would, because she could already read, she skipped first grade. She would skip fifth grade too. In school, Catherine always had her hand in the air to ask questions, and her teachers encouraged her. Each night, Catherine and her siblings did their homework seated around a big table. After I finished mine, I'd help them with theirs, she recalled. So already in this book, I can tell that Catherine having a gift of numbers in math is going to be very important. I also think it's important that Catherine skipped two grades. Let's pause there. The rest of the book is in the description for you to listen to and enjoy. Today in reading, you are going to read a nonfiction book and tell me three facts that you learned. You can choose to read a book from your home library, epic books, or a book on YouTube. There's a link in the description with a list of books that would be great. I'm really excited to see what you guys do.